My parents live in rural Indiana. They live in a town that's mostly conservative. They talk to other conservatives on a regular basis. Everybody watches Fox News. You know, they share the same memes on the internet. It didn't shock me when I heard that they were voting for Trump, but it hurt me. I have been raised to not be okay with people like Donald Trump. I've been raised to not think I was better than anybody else. We were taught to be cordial and not talk about religion and politics in public and for them to support a candidate that is so disconnected from that, that has no respect for those qualities, it shocked me. And then it went a layer deeper than shock. It shocks me that they did it and then it disgusts me because it makes me feel that everything that I know is wrong. How can they believe that America is such an awful place that the qualities that they raised me to have, they're willing to toss out the window for this candidate. I just, I can't wrap my brain around it. And so, and you know, I said all this on the phone call or whatever with my mom, and it just kind of, I felt like I was talking to a brick wall. She's so concerned about the economy and jobs, she's willing to like let everything else go. She's willing to let the sexual assault go. She's willing to let the, I've got one black guy in the crowd supporting me go. She's willing to let go the fact that he ridiculed a disabled reporter because all she knows is that people like her are losing their jobs. People like her are losing their retirements. People like her are losing their health benefits. And she doesn't believe someone like Hillary Clinton can help. When I got off that phone call and I didn't say I love you, the first thing that came to my mind is what if something happens to my mom? What if I never get to talk to her again? And you know, I texted her and I said, I'm sorry for what I said earlier. I just couldn't live with the idea of never speaking to her again, letting politics be something that tears our family apart. And I just, I didn't want the last thing that I said to her to be about Donald Trump. I think that a lot of liberals and a lot of progressives see Trump supporters as these ignorant, hateful people who don't know what they're doing, don't know who they're voting for, have no idea what's going on in the world. And I think that this holier than thou kind of perspective that we offer to them it, it shuts them out. Like they're not interested in hearing what we have to say. They're not interested in meeting us halfway because we don't understand where they're coming from. This election was long, it was exhausting, it was hurtful, it was mean-spirited. But I think underneath of it all, we, we want the same things as American people. And if we can just say sorry and be humble and come to the table, we can actually get something done.